Welcome. Welcome to the Wii Robot Party. So we, we, have, uh, we have quite a show for you tonight. I think, uh, I think you're going to like it. Uh, as you can see, I just uh, arrived in the RoboTaxi, the CyberCab. And uh, there's uh, 20 more where that came from. So they've been traveling. They're all, there's no people in them, as you can see. The car's just going by with no people. And we have, uh, we have 50 fully autonomous cars here tonight. Uh, so you'll see Model Ys and the Cyber Cab, uh, all driverless. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to take a ride in the cyber cab. There's no steering wheel or pedals. So I hope this goes well. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> so, so you, you see a lot of uh, sci-fi movies where uh, the future is it's dark and dismal where uh, it's not a future you want to be in. <laughs> so, you know, like, I, I love Blade Runner, but uh, I don't know if we want that future. I think we want that, uh, that duster he's wearing, but, uh, but, but, not, but not the, uh, the bleak apocalypse. Uh, we want to have a fun, exciting future that if you could look in a crystal ball and see the future, you'd be like, yes, I wish I could be there now. That's what we want. So, so when we think about transport today, there's a lot of kind of pain that we take for granted that we think is normal. Um, like having to <laughs> drive around LA uh, in like three hours of traffic. Um, yeah, and for people that live in LA, I mean, you know, try to get from uh, Pasadena to, you know, El Segundo during rush hour. It's like, you can fly to, you know, another city faster than you can get to cross town LA. How many hours a week are cars used? Your average passenger car is only used about 10 hours a week out of 100, 168 hours. So the vast majority of the time, cars are just doing nothing. But if they're autonomous, they could be used, I don't know, five times more? Maybe, maybe 10 times more. So you could actually, for the, the same car, would have five times as much value, maybe, maybe 10 times as much value. It's, it's, there's 100, 168 hours in the week, and like I said, only 10 of them are used for driving. So, and, then, and then a bunch of those hours are looking for a parking spot, which is, you know, can be pretty annoying at times. So, so we want, with, with autonomy, you get, you get your time back. This is a very big deal. So it's, it's not just a safe, like, it'll, it'll save lives, like a lot of lives, um, and prevent injuries. I think we'll see autonomous cars become 10 times safer than a human. Um, I mean, if you think of times past that where there, were, there used to be an elevator operator in every elevator, uh, but uh, once in a while they get, you know, they get tired and uh, they accidentally shear somebody in half, uh, you know. So, so now we have automated elevators. You just get in an elevator and you press a button and you don't even think about it and it just takes you to the floor. And if you did see an elevator operator with a big relay switch, you'd be like, that's weird. Um, now, that's, that's how cars will be. Um, and, and it's not just the lives saved in injuries, but if you look at the, think about the cumulative time that people spend in a car and the time that they will get back that they can now spend, well, I guess, on their phones <laughs> or, or, or watching a movie uh, or doing work or whatever you want to do. Um, you can think of the, the car in an autonomous world as being like just a, a, a little lounge. You're just sitting in, in a comfortable little lounge and you can do whatever you want while you're in this comfortable little lounge. And when you get out, you will be at your destination. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome. So, so in, in fact, we... we I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city 
Um, not, not the ticket price, because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of uh, CyberCab, uh, we, we think probably over time, from the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. Um, and price, including taxes and, and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. So, yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, and uh, we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. Yeah. Yeah.